Ooh. All right. Um, good morning. <laughs> you can't really see me all that well, but hopefully a little bit better now. Mm. Turn this off for a second so it's not rattling. Today is going to be a fun one. Uh, I know chain law is probably not going to lift for a while. Luckily, they just made it chain law, so actually you can go across 80. And so we have dressed to do so. I'm wearing two pairs of pants, well, leggings, because I did not bring my snow pants. I'm never prepared, never prepared. I can tell everybody else how to prepare, but I can't do it myself. It's ridiculous. Anyways, I'm wearing like three shirts. Because, like, I don't want to get wet. That's the thing. Is, like, I just want to be able to roll around on the ground, get the chains on, get back in here. I even picked out a change of clothes, and I got out my safety vest and everything. We're all prepared. We're about, like, an hour out. So, we're going to go do that. Today's going to be a fun one. Talk about it. There's something that I need to say to you. Don't say I'm never honest. Hey. Well, baby, should we lie about it? Do we still pretend that we're okay? Like nothing's going on here. Cause I don't have any feelings too hard. And all you got is a city as wise. There's nothing to do about it. Tell me the, tell me the truth about it. That I got no tears. Could be sad about it. Maybe that would help me to escape. There's cold hearted warfare. Cause I don't live in your face. <laughs> We're here. It's bare pavement right now. Dakos, stop, honey. Um, this is what we're working with. But this is the best place to chain is when before it gets really snowy, but I hate doing that because then it's just chains on bare pavement. I'm gonna film what I can. The batteries on all my things have already died, so we'll just, we'll see how this goes. Although I have to say that river down there is very uh, nice and relaxing. I don't know if you can see it. So beautiful up here. Uh, hopefully you can hear me okay. One of the things I'm absolutely dreading is I hate the chains that I have. You guys should have P-Wag chains. If you have any other kind, throw them away. If you have, especially if you have the ones you get at the truck stop, absolutely toss them out. These are crap.
I'm debating whether or not that's on. I'm debating whether or not I'm actually going to like put this in a video or not. I am um, while I was chaining, I hit my head. Can you see it? And um, had a bit of a little panic attack after that. And uh, then I finished putting on the chains. I kind of want to show you guys this. Um, CHP made me move, but I'm over here now. But it actually did start to snow, so I feel a little bit better because it's been dry pavement for a little bit. But. I think this one's on the third hole, this one's on the third hole, but both of my trailers are on the fifth hole, which makes me really happy. So these are like super duper tight, very happy about that. These are crap chains. Um, and then these I'm worried about, so I keep getting out and checking them because I can't get them any tighter. So when they start to like bend in like that, they're not tight. Um, so I'm just checking on them because I really can't get them any further. This one's on, what, the third hole? So it's like, it's okay, it's not great. As long as you don't hear it going thunk, thunk, thunk against the trailer, you're good. This one, on the other hand, is on the frickin' first hole. I cannot get it any tighter, so I'm really worried about this one. So I'm gonna keep going and checking it um, for now. But I am not proud of this. This looks terrible, but it is what it is. I might just move this bungee yeah. it's a little bit over we'll just keep going and check it I'm not going all that fast I'm going like 15 miles an hour but I need to call my dispatch and tell them that I hit my head so I think I may need to get it checked out. I feel fine. Um, I actually put ice in a bag. <laughs> well, snow. I put snow in a bag to put on it, but I just need to make it through this. We're at the beginning of Donner, so we got a long ways to go. It hurts, um, but I think I'm gonna get it checked out and maybe cancel my next load, because it's, it's not looking pretty, so. Loving me was all you tried when you were around I've been told too many times now Yeah, loving me was all you tried when you were around I've been told too many times now But somewhere I go and hide Looking for a new star Yeah, somewhere They move the chain stop area or the chain check area to up here. I'm guessing there's probably snow past here. This thing hurts so badly. Um, I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna check that one set that I told you guys about that only has one link on um, because I, I just don't like it. I keep one one thing. I'm gonna turn those off. One tip that I would like to give you guys is like. If your mirrors are adjustable inside, you can always use any of your mirrors to like check your chains. So like move them down and over and look at your chains. And if they look, mine look fine. They're still on, they're still good. Everything is good. Um, hold on, the chain install guy is coming over here. I'm good. I'm good. All right, sorry. I just wanted to let him know that I'm good. I bet you they make a ton of money this time of year, so I'm super happy about that. But I'm gonna go fix this chain. I'm not gonna take you with me because my head, so uh, give me a sec.
I don't think we're gonna mess with this one, but this one I think I'm gonna try to tighten. this is a safe spot or not I'm just gonna start taking my bungees off at least and then maybe by the time this guy will be done I'll just do what I got to do how does my head look oh god that thing looks that looks so bad I don't know if I'm gonna post this online I feel like I feel like I should because it's like the reality, right? This is real. Every time I move my eyebrows, it hurts. I just tried to eat a bite of this cookie and I can't chew. It hurts so badly. It was the most painful thing to try to chew a little piece of that cookie. But I know I need to eat something. I haven't eaten anything yet. Hmm. Anyways, so... I'm just going to get these off as best I can. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel right. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Me up, so in, so where I can find my 
My butt feels wet from laying on the ground earlier. I just need a change and then we'll get to what I was gonna say. Okay, I know I keep saying that I'm gonna tell you guys, but uh, I think honestly, I'm just gonna wait until tomorrow or maybe till I stop tonight because let me tell you, trying to take my clothes off right now with this thing on my head was so painful and I know that I only have five hours left I can drive and I really need to get as far as I possibly can today. So I'm gonna do that. Hopefully I'll make it to like Winnemucca or something to sleep. I actually really like that uh, Flying J there. And um, I'll see you guys when I get there. Hey guys, um, I know this is probably shocking, but it's four days after my accident and I obviously didn't stop in Winnemucca. I have this now. Um, it's a lot better than it was a couple of days ago. It was super swollen and um, I'm just trying to be okay with it. And uh, so I think I said this, it's four days after the accident and um, what I was trying to talk about in the video was actually like some chaining things, some chaining tips, like things I learned along the way that I've never really heard anybody else talk about. Um, and I'm just decided I'm gonna make a separate video for those things and I'm doing okay. I just wanted to say that like, you know, things happen, it's trucking and uh, we'll be back out there soon. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully this doesn't last too long because it's really embarrassing, so bye. <laughs>